Every year, millions of people around the world go on a whale watching excursion, hoping for a breathtaking glimpse. If it's a blue whale, you've hit pay dirt. Nothing else in the animal kingdom comes even close in size. Geneviève Beauchemin explains why. From the bones stored in museum warehouses, a story of evolution. The answer to a mystery once buried deep in the ocean. Just when and how did whales become the giants of this world? So as far as we know from looking at the evolutionary history of baleen whales, they were never this large. It's like 45 million years old. Scientists like Nick Pyanson at the Smithsonian's Museum of Natural History poured over the fossils. So you can see the skull here, jaw bones and skull. They measured the skulls of baleen whales over time. They're the toothless ones like blue whales that gulp and filter ocean water for food. And they discovered that the animals supersized very fast and very recently, in evolutionary terms, of course. For most of the evolutionary history of these whales, they were the size of minivans, right? And then all of a sudden, four and a half million years ago, they get enormous, the length of over two school buses. A dramatic shift brought about, say, researchers by an ice age that changed water circulation in the oceans. And the distribution of whale food like krill also changed, so that size became a big deal. It made it easier to travel long distances to get at the food, and once there, eat a whole bunch from a big buffet all at once. But that finding may also serve as a dire warning of what could come with climate change. The oceans are changing very rapidly. If you live in the Canadian Arctic, that ocean is warming. And soon the Northwest Passage will be open. And the majestic whales could lose out. They're highly adapted to current ocean climates. Uh, they're not going to do so well if patterns of ocean circulation productivity change in the near future. And sadly, one day, the giants that rule the oceans now might only be found as fossils in museums. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Washington. And that is it for us tonight. I'm Lisa Laflamme. For everyone at CTV National News, thanks for watching. Good night, and we'll see you again tomorrow from the convention floor.